What's up guys? I hope you've all been doing great. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Veronica. If you're new here, if you've been keeping up, I'm currently doing my made to order process to start my made to order production in February. So I guess I am, I am in, I am in pre-production right now. In the last video, I ordered the fabrics that I wanted to use for the pieces. Hopefully I like them, but I haven't gotten them in yet. It's only like the next day so um i have just been like going over my patterns and making more samples to make sure that i like everything because i do not want to cut them out of the final fabric without making sure that i i like i like them. so i made some more samples after i altered the pattern because i had ended up making the vest a little bit shorter and dropping the waist like an inch so this is another sample that I made. Let me show y'all. Here's another vest I made. It's it's like brown kind of linen fabric here. And I'm keeping this one for myself. But I haven't added the buttonholes or anything. But I just had cropped it or had shortened the vest like an inch. So I'm sure you can't tell compared to the other one. And then I um didn't add the straps because I wanted to see what it looked like without having an adjustment in the back but um I mean I like the fit it looks good but I think I'm still gonna add it in case anyone wants it like you know because sometimes I want it like this depending on like if what I'm wearing like what I'm layering it with or something like I want it to be cinched in and sometimes I like it just like baggy like this so I'm gonna put the option in there pants now i keep going back and forth on these pants i don't know what to feel about them i made it out of this like fabric that i already had here um that's really soft that i had used for a custom order and then i tried the button clasp things that i had gotten um and they worked good i just uh I put them on like awkwardly because I forgot to put them on so I had to unstitch the waistband and put them on because I forgot. I think I just put them a little uneven so it's kind of like like looks messed up. Um, and then what I'm eek about is the fit, like how they look. I think it's because this fabric doesn't crease very well that like the pleats kind of like go out um it doesn't look bad they don't look bad it's just that now i'm like do i want them to look different you know like now i'm i was in between these two thoughts before um but i decided to go with this one but now i'm kind of like i don't know i think i don't want the pleats remove with the pleats and then do like some have them a little bit more fitted on the thighs and then they like flare out like basically like kind of flare bell bottoms more so than pleated but still have the pockets of course i just think i want them to be more like fitted and flare a little bit so i altered the pattern a little bit because I had added more on the side to make it, you know, more square. But I had added from up here all the way down to make them just, like, very rectangle. But now I took off the extra and I made them more fitted on the thighs. And then I kind of just, like, went out to make them more, like, flare. It doesn't look dramatic. So I'm going to make another pair of pants with that pattern now and, like, see how that looks and compare and see what I like but yeah now I'm like rethinking my pantalones okay so I have this hemp fabric 100% hemp um, it's kind of like jean looking fabric that I, the only thing I've used it for is to make the bags for my um scraps that I have here I want to know what you guys listen to whenever you're working or like sewing or whatever. Like, what is your go-to 
to listen to? Like, do you listen to music? Do you listen to podcasts? Like, uh, do you watch YouTube videos? I do it all. It just really depends on the mood and, like, what has been posted. I listen to a lot of true crime. <laughs> I listen to so much true crime on uh, YouTube. My favorite is Bailey Sarian. I talked about this in my first YouTube video. Um, but I love her. She is so funny. And she just really, which can sound kind of fucked up. <laughs> like, I say she's funny and she's talking about, like, true crime. But, um, it's just, she's such a good storyteller. And it just makes you so intrigued. And honestly, I grew up watching so much Law and & Order and NCSI and, and stuff when I was younger, which honestly would make it difficult for me to sleep at night. But, um, and I know that so many people, so many women out there love true crime. And I just think it's so weird and like funny, but I guess it's cause we like to like be prepared for situations. Like, I guess, but also I love the philosophical part of it. Like I, also love like educational stuff like I am mostly very into educational things and I listen to like educational podcasts or interviews and stuff about like nutrition or health or like uh you know mental health or anything like that or history um because I just like to learn about how I could be better how the world could be better um and so I recommend Bailey Sarian because she's great but i've already watched all of her videos um on youtube i've seen them all from like two years ago up to two years ago but now she has a podcast called dark history which i love it's exactly what it's exactly like down my lane so basically she just talks about um dark history and she will like have a topic or whatever and it's basically like we're exposing mostly america <laughs> and like the history about like how things came to be like nestle was the last one she did talking about nestle and the dark history behind that and then um the dark history behind jazz music which i had already known about but i still watched it and yeah stuff like that which is stuff that i like because i love learning about like the the real things that happen not about like the things that we were uh raised to think stuff like that so i love her i love her podcast and everyone should go watch it and learn some learn some new juicy things but yeah let me know in the comment section below like what you guys like to listen to and like if you want to recommend me anyone or any podcasts that i should listen to Okay, so I cut out the pants and I'm going to pattern out the uh, top that I want to make so the vision I have nothing crazy but I want I've been wanting a top like this or a blouse like this forever but like a regular button-up blouse which I'm using the pattern I made for Leonelli's order um, like a couple videos ago I'm using that same pattern besides for the sleeves I want them to be poofy poofy sleeves and then cinched here what is that called I cannot remember the name of the sleeve right now but anyways I'm making this top <laughs> it's gonna have a cuff here it's gonna be poofy so typically you would take a regular pattern sleeve and you would slice lines up uh, through it and then spread it to make it like a a wide sleeve like this but I can't find my regular arm sleeve pattern I don't know where I put it I cannot find it so I'm gonna be using this sleeve I have but just cutting it off at the cuff and then making that part separate
I hate when this happens. When I accidentally sew something wrong, like... I sewed the sleeve upside down. Ugh, gonna have to see rip it. Hello, beautiful people on the internet. Um, so it's about two days later since I was doing what I was just doing before in that clip. I had went to the beach the next day, it was Sunday, and I was like, I'm taking my butt to the beach. I've been, uh, I haven't been to the beach in like two weeks. <laughs> I need to go to the beach. So I went with my dog Vino and we had a lot of fun. I did really just like sat there and thought. <laughs> okay, so I finished the top and the pants now. Pants. I guess we can do the top first. It looks good. Um, the only thing is I didn't put the buttons on yet. I just put like loops. I need to put buttons. This is how it's looking. I should have made the pattern a little bit curved in the front so that this would fall forward also, not just back. But I was in a rush. But it's giving very much librarian pirate vibes. This is going on right now. Um, but the pants, okay, I guess it also because the fabric is thicker, it's more like a jean, and what I will actually be using won't be this thick. It's not super thick, but anyways, it's not giving it's not giving what I want it to give. So I had tried doing with no pleats, but it was they were like too big. So and I was like, let me just put a pleat. So then I put one pleat, but then the back because I was trying to stretch it out to like do a top stitch, it like stretches out too much because the fabric doesn't like sh enough because it's like a jean. It's not like soft, so they're not very tight quite loose. Here it is with these pants. I ironed down the pleats so they look a lot better, but I think I just, I'm gonna switch it when I do them and turn the pleats this direction, not going inwards but going outwards. I think it'll look better. And then I'm gonna keep them straight, but I think go just a little bit more wider at the bottom. And also I think cause this fabric is just kind of weird, it just like, looks odd. I don't know. I keep changing, keep changing my mind. I feel like I need to see the I need to have the fabric to really decide. Anyways, I'm gonna go home because it's like it's 8 30. I need to go home. So I will see you guys tomorrow.